This week I learned digital image processing. Uh, lovely handwriting as always. So what is digital image processing? I'm <coughs> dying. <coughs> it's basically, as you might have guessed, uh, how you process the digital. I can't pronounce digital image. Okay. So most image, I think nearly all image, um, need to hold on. Um, and by all image, I think I don't know whether like vector image count. Um, uh, I did not pick up I don't think so because of how it work but normal PNG for example let's say it's a a box of image contain a, a X a Y amount of row and X amount of width length whatever the fuck is it column right so and here, let's say we make it into a very simpler, like enhanced big, big form. Uh, we divide it into equal boxes, and each individual boxes are a pixel, right? It's not that hard. So in this case, there will be a. F Hold on, this will be a. F so I need to burp four times. No, four times six. So this is a four times six pixel. Or image, not pixel. Uh, or at least a four times six, uh, what size of pixel, of image, not pixel. God damn it! And each pixel, uh, will have uh, a number on it. It is how we render is that we have number assigned at each pixel. There is actually three type uh, of image, or at least three type we are gonna learn. Uh, grayscale. Also, this since this is about images, um, and I'm writing in paint. Uh, there's a lot of showing I'm not able to show because I'm in fucking paint unless I need to manually uh, click and drag and like um, uh, screenshot all the uh, the note. But I'm just gonna explain mostly here. I'm just gonna explain like the the more technical stuff. Um, and if that is able to convey, then that's good enough. So grayscale is very simple. It is an image, you know, all those old time image, uh, is completely black and white, right? Binary is only have two color, absolute black and absolute white. That's it. There's no in between, right? There's no, there's no gray. It's literally because binary, binary is zero and one, right? So zero will be uh, black and one will be white, and that's about it. <laughs> you you can't have like zero point five to be gray. No, if you want to do it, you need you you're basically becoming grayscale, right? And color is a uh, using RGB. So we'll go on this later. We're gonna go back to grayscale because I think this is the most common. For us to learn and do uh, currently, so grayscale means imagine this uh, size of an uh, image. Each number will go will have a number assigned from zero to two five five. Okay. Now, if you have noticed, this is a very special number because this number is the representation of eight bits, right? Uh, which is uh, two to the power of a uh, <laughs> so if 2 of how you have 256 you have 256 color to uh, choose from for each pixel and it will always start off at least most of the time it should always start off if 0 will be uh, black so let's say if this is 0 then this color will be completely uh, black oh that's okay well uh, da, da, da. let me just close this up close this up so this should be completely black right and but let's say this is a, a 255 then this will be completely white and then if this is like uh, 128 this can be like in the middle of like being like a uh, gray something like this right this is uh, basically how our computer render is looking through what number it is 
then it knows from the scale how intense the you would want your brightness to be basically the number like re represent like how bright you want the current thing to be so zero will be zero brightness zero intensity is just zero black and the higher you go the more lighter uh, brighter you become right so that is grayscale okay binary again zero to one so if this is zero it will be completely black if this is one it's completely white there's no like again there's no like 0 0.6 0 point whatever so it's just zero and one and rgb make use uh, the special of rgb is that it make use of uh, as you might assume what rgb stands for red green and blue so majority of these not majority all of these need to be represented in an array or a 2d array where you have a x amount of uh, row or an x amount of column right uh, x amount of row x y, y amount of column actually they use what they use they use m and n m amount of row and n amount of uh, column right and that that yeah that's uh, you and we're gonna work with Python, so you're gonna uh, see me using back Python uh, with a different packaging setup. Uh, I need to have not install it, but I haven't checked it out. But yeah, so in grayscale, you have one 2D array or plane to fill in the number. In RGB, you might have guessed uh, it's three. You need three. Uh, of the primary color, color and therefore we need three uh, 2D array uh, one plane for um, red, one plane from green and one plane for uh, blue and then it is then when all these three combine together that's how it show color okay so like if you want to showcase a color of red then you want to put this very high because the higher the color the number is the higher the intensity right so you want pure red you just put this 255 green will be zero so it'll be no green and no blue and this will only show red right you want to show a uh, green the same thing just should blue uh there will be 255 and then you can obviously mix and match and depending on it uh different color uh are combined together right and this is actually the basis of how um the the, 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 the the color hexes uh, start to form because if you they convert this 8 bit into a way simpler uh, 2 hexadecimal and then each number can be represented in the 2 hexadecimal to indicate what uh, what amount of color uh, each RGB I uh, use for specific thing right uh, but I think for our subject we just purely still use a binary way and just indicate in numbers so from 0 to 255 um, yeah so again our color image consists of three layers and it will overlap it must be in the same size because if like let's say red is smaller and green is bigger i think it will render out the maximum but the Anywhere that the red didn't touch, you just treat it as like red is missing, I think. <coughs> they haven't really said that yet, but... So I assume or either... Uh, I don't know how they place a smaller seal. Do they, do they place it in the center or the top left? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, hold on, I need to cough. Oh my god, I'm dying. So yeah, uh, you can... If you want certain color, just literally Google. Uh, color picker and uh, color chooser whatever and they should have like slider or number to fill in and depending on what number you press they'll give you the color right so one interesting about um, the color RGB model is that since it have three channel there right there channel I think that's what's proper name is the three channel of different um, color right three primary color you can actually adjust one of them or a few of them to manipulate the image to what you want it to be okay aka if you 
have let's say you found a color image uh, it, it, uh, an image online that have a color then you strip away green and blue and you only leave the, the red channel then how the image will turn out will actually make it so that any red color in the image will become the the brightest will become the brightest because it will turn out turn into black and white right in a gray scale basically it will turn it back into gray scale and then um it's, it's not like you only show red no it, it will turn it into gray scale because now it's only one type of color and the redder it is in the original image the brighter it is the whiter it is in the uh strip out strip down form if you only now channel for the red right same with the uh, stuff that is like have zero connection no, it's not as darkest but it have the zero connection to red because it look at the number if there's 255 red on that pixel then you will if you transfer into a one channel gray scale then yes this will be the brightest if this have zero content of uh, red but have the have, but it's like the greenness of all green but it does not register this green anymore you only look at this zero and then in the gray scale you treat this as empty right that's how um you can manipulate the, 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 the image important thing to note is that you need all three well i not show all three but they say you need multiple plate a single plane will never have color i think and only when you have all three plane where you have proper color okay i'm not sure what happens if you have two plane only uh, this just big one so because of that um we can do uh, many a lot of different things uh, according to it but before we think what we can manipulate with the image we need to know certain thing called resolution there's two type of resolution um, resolution okay there is a spatial and there's one called what, uh, intensity I don't know how to spell intensity how to spell intensity intensity city 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 okay because resolution actually um, it's not the same resolution where if you're only able to think one type of resolution is not only just that there's a obviously two different type of resolution um which back when i was doing my uh, web dev uh, web fundamental i always try to get conf i always get confused by it uh because like the resolution doesn't mean the same resolution as what i think is the resolution um but spatial resolution is um what you might thought of initially if you like changing the window size is the size you know how spatial it is uh, the smaller it is the smaller the resolution the bigger it is the bigger the resolution right resolution intensity is what you might expect from like watching a video like a YouTube video that's your resolution the lower it is the less um, dyna uh, the less range of pixel they can choose from okay and the more higher resolution that means the more uh pixel uh they have right uh the, the, the it's mostly the range. actually no i think resolution in youtube is actually spatial because the you need larger amount i okay i feel like that's maybe a combination of two but basically intensity is the the range of pixels value not the pixel itself more pixel is more spacious i believe but they might size down the pixel itself to fit more right so um, that is a uh, spatial and then intensity is the how much range of value aka is more used on color it's so it more pop out right um, and yeah that's a uh, body for the resolution part um let's move on to let's see what else i have to say um the lecture also then move on a bit uh, 
the to explain because um, some people might just directly because this is a new year this might be a direct transfer student so they have to somewhat repeat certain topic uh, which is fine um, because you know I feel like just at least cover all the bases first before you move on right this at least this uh, m you know make my life a bit easier the f uh, for the first few few weeks first of all uh, go on the binary system so very simple binary system oh, uh, to convert it into binary <laughs> uh, so this is a decimal system so decimal system is that you read it to the 10 of power so this will be the 10 of power of Zero, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2 If you want to convert this to a binary uh, You need to do a certain thing called um, What, how is it called? Uh, you need to do a division type So like this 159 You need to divide this by 2 And then basically you you, you can do it manually by dividing 2 It's fine to see what's the number for it and then you divide it again and again and again until you find the 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 digit you want, right? Um, but um, I think at this point we can allow to use our calculator to just convert it. And yeah, so and then binary is actually just one and zero and zero one using the power of two, the base power of two. So you have two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, and two to the power of two. Okay. Um, in Again, they retouch back that in the grayscale, each pixel contain eight bits. So, like they say, this is a pixel. Each one contain eight bits, uh, which contain uh, the number from zero to two five five, right? And the reason why it is eight bit is because I think it's the uh, the common storage uh, type. Uh, for anything right because um, every, I think like the computer I'm not sure whether it is still now but most most of the time the computer will run in uh, run most data in 8-bit to to run the data right uh, because 8-bit is also one byte that's 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 the proper way because 8-bit is one byte and computer like to use a byte for everything and the file size okay so you can actually calculate the file size so the file size the num uh, determined by the number of bits um, individual bits so if you want to know how much bit uh, you are gonna use this will be uh, this B is there for bits times the size of the image which is M row and N column uh, then you multiply by K so K means that how dynamically range your uh, pixel can contain right how dynamically aka how how wide how how much how much lah you know since most of the time is 8 bit uh, we put this at 256 right so it's literally let's say a re standard resolution where it's a uh, 1920 times 1080 so in order to calculate how many bits it will be 1920 times 1080 times uh, 256 right and that is grayscale if you want to put with color there's three primary colors so you need to multiply this by three so this will be your color amount of bits uh, allocated if uh, there's an occasion where it is nine bits instead of eight bits then you just change it accordingly I'm not sure what 9 bit is I think it's 512 um, yeah that's about it and you can also do uh, arithmetic operation to the image so here's how it goes let's say you have a, a 2x2 okay and you can actually add with another 2x2 and it's if this is a like, add uh, operation, you just add on the the number. So like let's say this is fifteen, this is twenty. Then your new two by two, top left will be uh, thirty five. Okay, like, ignore the horrible ending. If this is like zero, this is like one five five. Then it's be still one five five. If this is like 
10 and this is like 170 there'll be 180 right and but what if if it's like a bit higher let's say this is 200 and this is also 200 well normally it should be 400 and it would probably still stay in 400 but uh, that depend is that that only depend if your limit is higher uh, than what your image are meant to uh, are meant to be processing in let's say if it's meant to be processing in 8 bit well shit it won't um, but if it's 9 bit for example where you can have range of 512 then this is completely fine okay so adding 2 8 bit image the output may fall into there the exceeding color depth of either source uh, sorry this will exceed any color depth of either source so if this like um, let's say you add two different uh, literally just add two different uh, image and it's more it exceed the thing right so they could do two things to fix this internally they can either truncate or rescale right um, image size forbid the operation consider only uh, in the sense of the two image so what is truncating and rescaling so truncating is that obviously if it's more than 200 you'll just truncate into back to 255 and that's it no value exceeding 255 if it's like 8 bit rescaling will find the maximum uh, image uh, value uh, which they represent it as IMAX then divide the image by IMAX and then multiply it with 255 okay so how this goes is that let's say we have I'm just gonna copy what they write um, they have another 2 by 2 and you do this 280 okay so if you do this truncate style or we do it in truncation should I just do like this? <laughs> uh, this will just all become 255 because it's all exceeding 255 so it only kept it at 255. If we do it in rescaling, um, you will now divide this by uh, the total value I believe. Uh, no, the, the maximum value which is 380. So you divide all of them by 380 then you multiply it by 255 I think uh, let me bring out a calculator make sure this value is correct uh, um, so let's say 280 you divide by 380 multiply by 255 and you get 287.89 and you can decide whether you want to round up or round down the number okay there's no fixed rule saying you need to round uh, it up or round it down unless you know the question may say otherwise but the important thing is to actually be consistent. If you round the first number up, you should round everything up. If you round the second number up, you should round everything, uh, sorry, second number down. If you round the first number down, you should round everything else down. Okay? So, uh, the initial value of 8 big grayscale image can only range from 0 to 255. If exceeding 255, you can perform translating or regenerating to adjust the value back to the range of 0 to 255. Please, no, no, please take note that the adjustment above is only required usually at the very last stage. So you want to save the the absolute truncation or rescaling to last when you want to eat as a in a presentation form because obviously hold on, oh shit press out obviously in um eh, where the fuck's my note obviously in this form is way exceeding right you can mean that <clears throat> it need way more spaces or um, the color won't able to register because the the range of that color uh, it's, it's not way more exceeding I don't know why I said that it's basically the color won't uh, the, the computer don't know how to re register that as a color right so uh, but it should internally still register it as 280 and you should do every calculation with 280 first before at the end where you do 
255. Because imagine 280, then you actually want to minus uh, do an uh, operation where you minus out uh, by I don't know why I keep doing like this by uh, 250. Then this value will actually become uh, 30. But if you do truncation first, it will become 255. Then by the from 255, you minus 250, it all become 5 in the end. Instead of being remaining 30, if you truncate at the last second. You see how, 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 how you effect? Um, this is why we don't, uh, or we shouldn't, do rescaling translation uh, in the middle of a process or uh, middle of a like process yeah process uh, and only use it during the end of it right so when you are processing you do want to try to have no limit whenever uh, you put in your array right so because it's all array because you need to put it all in the array number so don't cap your array when you want to process it then you can say, okay, remove, uh, cap it down, right, at the end. So how um, the operation uh, works? So earlier I say, oh, addition, multiplication, uh, normal, there is multiplication, subtraction, so how it works. It's, okay, this is impossible for me to, like, write it without, uh, uh, write it in paint without, showing it so i'll try my best let's say we have two image okay with x plus y okay uh, sorry that's not how codes it was. you have image a with x and y um size right and then you have another image image b which is uh also x and y because this this is uh, the size okay then, if you want to add these two together, it will just simply be image A, X, Y, plus image B, uh, X, Y. So, it's like this. Uh, the one we were doing earlier. And then the final result is that whatever number it is, um, it will um, it will become. Okay? So, then, we have subtraction. Where instead of y, uh, IA plus IB will literally be IA minus IB. I've simplified it, but apparently you, this, you should write this in a full proper form. Multiplication, again, simple, uh, not as simple. Um, it just logically makes sense. It's just IA multiplied by AB. And division, same thing, IA divide by uh, IB. But what does it mean? How does it look, right? Because if you do the calculation, sh sure, it changed the number. But what does it actually, why, what's the purpose of the multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, right? So, addition is to blend two images together. Subtraction is to find the difference between two images. Because you subtract A from B, then the whatever left over, if it's not the same value, you will be, still have some value. If it's like, Let's say let's say this this pixel is the 180 and the another pixel is 180 then you know if the spot in the final image is completely black you know there's no difference but let's say there's a, a tempering so it X becomes 170 then you realize that oh this is there's a slight uh, not completely dark like a slight uh, uh, hint of a uh, light uh, in this pixel therefore um, the image here is not completely uh, the same. It's not identical. There is a difference, right? Multiplication is mostly used to add on like a uh, finer detail because um, it's mostly meant for emphasizing like edges in a color image where you, let's say you have a faces here, you just, uh, where it's all fully colored and whatnot, right? It's actual full image. But you realize that you want it to pop up a bit more, so you make a sketch that only uh, draw around the edges. Then you multiply it into the image, and then here it will just emphasize it in a much higher intensity. Uh, that's about it. Okay. 
and division uh it will find the ratio of the difference right if it's uh all consistent all the same then you have all the same color but uh if there's many difference you can see the color going up and down up and down up and down right uh, that's about it <laughs> for uh, image uh, for arithmetic uh, operation there's also logical operation where you have logical and logical or all logical right so uh, let's say you have it's basically the same concept la. Um, let's say you have uh, image A and image B and you want to do an end operation therefore any um, any color, right? This only works for by the way. This only works for uh, binary, right? Because only binary can do logical operation. Basically, any um, matching um, ones can only sh output one. So let's say this is a one zero one, and then you want to compare to a color with one. 1 uh, 0 then the output will become um, this is n will become um, 1 I don't know just treat this as pixel so 1 0 0 right and or if it's all uh, um, if this is all operation all of this will become 1 1 1 right if it's a uh, XOR um, it will be excluding um, the the one right so become uh, well in this case it will be still one 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 um, but you ex actually no you exclude this will be zero one one okay and then uh, you have a complement of it which is you flip the whole number up which is zero one zero right so then you have um, let's see arithmetic point operator uh, previously we performed arithmetic operator on multiple image in fact arithmetic operation can be applied to on a single image in this case each pixel of the image is operated upon by a constant of C so you can have a new you have a you can have an image let's say we have an image here I new a new image is can be made up of I a plus C okay you can just add add a constant to all the pixel to basically change like the brightness of it for example because if this is like grayscale you can just change how light it is right and if you minus it you just change how darker it is uh, if it's multiplication division it will change a certain aspect but it's gonna be look a bit odd um, to a certain to, to how it looks right and I think so far this is where we left off um, yeah, this is where we left off. There's uh, later on. There's logarithmic, er exponential, and power law. Um, but for now, that this is uh, all the base, uh, sick understanding of uh, digital image processing. So uh, that's about it. Bye bye.